you are writing your PEP exam this period, in this 2024, I want you to pay attention in everything I'm going to say as far as this exam is concerned. Because everything I'm going to tell you in this um, channel, these are the things you are going to see in this JOPEP 2024 exam. So pay attention as we proceed. And remember, if you have anybody who is writing this exam this period, I want you to share this video to that person so that the person can partake. And remember, do not forget to hit the subscription button so that anytime we post on any subject, as far as this exam is concerned, you get notification in order to follow us. So if you still need any assistance as far as this exam is concerned, please, all I want you to do is you chat me up on my WhatsApp number, which is on the screen now. Ask me anything and I will give you the assistance that you need. All our interest is for you to write this exam and have a very high grade. That is what we are aiming for. Now, before we go into the spacemen, before we begin to discuss the spacemen one after the other, I would like us to look at some of the rules that are involved as far as biology practical exam is concerned. Okay, these are the things you must familiarize so that you will not find it difficult in the exam hall. Okay, number one here, I have identified. When you are asked to identify a particular specimen, what it simply means is that you should state the name of that statement. Just write out the name of the specimen. Okay, now in this particular video, I will give you all the specimen and their names as it is being given by the JUPEP examination board. So I want you to pay attention on that particular term which is um, identified. Okay, so for example, when you are asked to identify um, a particular specimen, like for example, you have um, you have um, um, humerus bone, okay, humerus bone or the head of a femur. Now, when you are asked to identify it, what you need to do is just write the name of what you are seeing on the table. Just write the name there. That is what it means. They mean no other thing than that. Now, another thing there is when you are asked to draw, when you are asked to draw a level, this is where um, this particular part of the biology practical is where the most marks lies. Yes, as far as biology practical is concerned, you must learn how to draw. Very, very important. That is the reason why so many people may write everything they know. At the end of the day, they will still be having low grade as far as biology is concerned. So if you must pass your biology JOPEP exam, you must learn how to draw. You must learn how to draw. And drawing in, in this examination is quite different from the drawing you see out there. First of all, there are things they consider while marking your exam. One of it is clarity. Clarity of the specimen drawn. Now, you must ensure that the specimen you are drawing is clear, okay? It's very, very clear. It is, it is, um, it is, even when an, a layman sees it, they can be able to say, yeah, this is actually what you are drawing. Because I've seen in some cases where students are asked to draw a particular specimen, when you as examiner comes around them, you'll be wondering what they are drawing unless they begin to tell you, sir, this is this. And you see, that doesn't make any sense. So clarity of drawing is very, very important as far as the biology practicals are concerned. Another thing that is very, very important there is trying to give details, trying to give details of that particular specimen that you are drawing. Let me cite an example for this. Now, if you are asked to draw um, a leaf, okay? If you are asked to draw a leaf, there are things that you see in that particular leaf that you must include that are very, very important. For example, the margins, okay, the laminas, those are important um, factors that you must consider when drawing in biology. Now, another thing there is you must avoid broken lines. You must avoid broken lines. Like, for example, when you are drawing, ensure that the whole lines are joined. As far as the specimen is concerned, that the whole lines are joined. Avoid broken lines. 
it is very very important and another thing there is your leveling you must level properly in every drawing there are things there are items or there are um, level that you are expected to you know include in your drawings so when you don't include these particular names it simply means that what you are doing is outside from what is expected of you so you must try as much as possible to include those names which are expected of you just like some people may be like what names are what are the things they may be expected in every drawing there are things that are very very necessary though in our videos as you continue on you know learning about the specimen that has given i will show you some of the items that you must not fail to label as far as those specimen is concerned they are very very important you must avoid painting okay you must avoid painting or shading yes you must avoid painting or shading even if you want to shade you use a light shading use a light shading but for citizens you must not shade so avoid shading now if for example you want to um, indicate a particular part of the organism that involves you trying to shade all you need to do is just do a light shading to indicate the part that you want to label once you label it you leave it and go your way and again one thing that is very very important is giving the label the, the specimen you've drawn title giving it the title titles like the diagram of specimen d or diagram of a particular organism's name or diagram of head of a femur it is very very important as far as the the biology practical specimen is concerned so i believe when you put all this in practice you will see that at the end of the day you end up getting a very high grade now another thing there is your side of labeling please you are advised to label one side okay it is very very important it's either you label left or you label right now in some cases so sometimes they they accept you labeling on just two sides one this way one this way so try to avoid labeling this way you know initially some people will tell you you can label this way this way this way and then downward no let just label preferably label just one side so all your labeling should go one particular side of the drawing i hope you're getting what i'm saying now now the next thing there is you have something like state the economic importance state the economic importance of a particular specimen now when you ask to state the economic importance what it simply means is you should state or write on the good and the bad of that particular specimen okay which is the advantages and the disadvantages just join all of them together and write let us um, use um, grasshopper for example when you are asked to state the economic importance of grass grasshopper now well, number one we all know that grasshopper is an agent of pollination as you can see that is one of the benefits of grass um, grasshopper now the when you talk about the disadvantage now you talk about how destructive they could be when they attack your farmland so all these things are what is expected of you you just have to write it down anyone you remember both the good and the bad you just put it down that is what they mean by the economic importance of a particular specimen follow me in my next video as i will be giving you the specimen one after the other and also telling you the possible questions that will come out and their answers i want you to follow me in my next video where i will be telling you all the specimen i will explain them tell you the possible questions that you will see as far as the specimen is concerned and tell you the answers we did it in wayek and people who wrote wayek they were happy over it we did it in neko and we are also going to do it in this jopeb examination so 
don't forget to follow me and don't forget to hit the subscription button so that whenever I post, you get notification to enable you watch our videos. I'll be dropping chemistry, biology, and physics practicals very soon.